Okay, now then, let's move on towards the game, shall we? We're going to be able to see An versus Axie Wave here. Amateur team versus pro player team. It's going to be Irohasu coming out as Opera Singer. We're going to be able to see that female dancer alongside with Nobles here as well. It seems like for JP right now, they're mainly focused on playing female dancer uh, against an Opera Singer. But of course, after Nightwatch is nerfed, it's not really ne a necessity for a female dancer to counter night match or oh, Nightwatch anymore. But I guess on this side, now let's move back on straight towards the game. Losing tonight is here. Irohasu is going to be looking for the next target and this card and target here might be a little bit hard to find because everyone's pretty far away but i mean since no one's decoding early game anyways i guess it's just more of a waiting game right now we do see where these slow music boxes have been deployed uh opera singer deciding not to break them though so it seems like we're going to be more focused on chase here knowing that female dancer has well one less music box let's say uh even on that side note that first hit is pretty darn early honestly from Nyan's side i'd say that is more of a like like it probably would have been better if you decide to put down the music box and uh, well put down the pilot and then the music box because that definitely would have been a lot more safer that definitely would have been a lot more safer you know they're missing the dash uh no shadow left for anything well no shadow left for Never mind, we're gonna TP over and that's a terror shock down. Oh no terror shock down. I mean I mean that's okay then. If that's the case, that's okay then. It's still an 80 second down. We did get rid of the first music box. Next music box we can get rid of it after we've chaired. Female dancer here, there is no basement. And seems like we're gonna be cherry on the outer side of graveyard here. I'd say more or less cherry on the outer side is just of a way of uh, showing map pressure because now aeroplanes has to rotate away, or maybe aeroplanes might actually become the first rescue here before Merc comes next. Now that I'm looking at it, hmm. Okay, then on that side, no mercenary cipher machine at around uh, seventy-four percent. Meanwhile, we are gonna be able to get a TP back here immediately. That's gonna be a normal hit from Tuna. But even with that on mind, Survivor Cypher Mission decoding progress is now really slow. You never mind, forget about what I said. We didn't really land those dashes properly. But even with that on mind, it doesn't seem like Female Dancer can actually rebound Kaiki anymore. Unless you can go into Music Box. No. Well, a little bit slow. Well, just a little bit slow right there. Okay, there's nothing we can do about that. Mm, even with Female Dancer going down here, we are going to pop off two and a half Cypher Machines right now, which is more or less the good news. You're going to be able to see Mercenary come in to rescue Female Dancer with no music box remaining on her hands. But I'm not too sure right now, but if the survivors decide to sell here, they could potentially aim for a tie game. For me right now, rescuing more or less is like giving, telling the hunter that, oh, I have two survivors at half health right now, so... You can do whatever you want to me, but I guess getting this 20 sec 20 second tight turner uh, out is more or less more beneficial for the survivors here just to finish off that Geisha Cypher machine. Okay, then Female Dancer running straight towards the corner. Meanwhile, Mercenary and our Aeroplanist is going to meet up to heal. There is going to be the basement nearby too as well, so I guess that was what the survivors were aiming for. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Wasn't expecting that, but fair enough. Mm, Female Dancer goes down here immediately. That chest is around 20% uh, discovered. So, um, it's still a tie. It still looks like a tie game here. As long as both Merc and Aeroplanist can uh, can heal, it's, it's still a tie game. But for Irohasu on that side, no, you're playing Opera, you want to win game here. But I guess it's the survivors you're really up against, which is kind of the annoying part of it all. So, we did manage to get the heal there on Aeroplanist. But Mercenary is countered by Opera Singer here. So Mercenary first hit didn't register on towards the hit there. I would say Opera Singer was a little bit slow on the hit there herself. Didn't get the hit right over the pilot. We didn't get the hit once again. We are not blinking in. Okay, we are not blinking in. Um, We're gonna do our last elbow pad out and ooh, that's a pilot stun. Okay, and that's a pilot stun there. Do you see that aeroplane is currently decoding outside of graveyard right now? But of course, Mercenary will be going down. Never mind about going down. Um... The pilot will be broken and Mercy. Mercy contained a long time, a really long time here. He should have done like 20 seconds earlier, but I guess on this side note, it's a whole different situation. You do see that Novelist is, never mind, we're TPing over. We do see where Aeroplanist is, so we decide not to chair here. I probably would have chaired, I won't lie, and then teleported, but I guess on that side note, fair enough. Didn't get a hit, okay, fair enough. Gonna get a drop down there immediately and 
Aeroplane is still does have one more jetpack remaining, but he doesn't have any hover left. So without any movement speed boost, you see that Atos decoding that 70% sight for machine. We're gonna go back here immediately, look for our aeroplanist, uh, not aeroplanist, novelist. Okay then, with novelist in mind, he does have a storybook here to use, so there's nothing to be worried about. There is Tram Senpai nearby as well, and you barely, okay, barely got past Tram Senpai there. At least, at least that was good news, and here comes in the palace sun. Ouch. Ouch on the palace sun. Ouch on the palace sun right here. That is a free 50% page uh, novel, novel regen there by novelist. This is why it's pretty strong for novelists to bring palace sun. A lot of palace sun duration. What was it called? Uh, strong hands? I don't know. I don't know what the trade is called. But I mean, uh, we didn't get hit right over the palette. A window. Whatever you want to call that. Oops. I mean... Uh, we're looking for another palace stone, it seems. Oh, that's a another palace stone, all right. Okay, that's why we bring flywheel. That is exactly why we bring flywheel, guys. Exactly why we bring flywheel. Now, the novelist gotten, has gotten 60%. 60% page regeneration. Jesus, that is fast. Jesus, that is actually pretty fast. But I guess this is one of the biggest reasons why Opera Singer gets countered by Novelist as well. Mm, we did open two extra Cypher Machines. I just realized there's another Cypher Machine there at an 80%. I, okay. Aeroplanes decodes pretty fast. I would I didn't even realize until just then. But there's another palace on there. Very nice. Now just pop the cipher machine here. It seems like they don't want to do so. Um Uh decided not to pop the cipher machine because Merc got a doll. So the doll is gonna be placed next to the gate. And with aeroplanes terror shock down, that's gonna be media gate open there as well. Let's see where the dungeon is, shall we? So dungeon is currently near where Aeroplanus is right now. They are going to be able to get that pallet down, but even if there was a doll next to wards, oh, never mind, we're going to be able to get the TP in. There goes the doll down. We got 84% Exegate opening speed, and with that in mind, it seems like Aeroplanus will be going over to open the Exegate, and if that's the case, because mm, chasing off the Merc might not be a bad idea, but that's only if you had Teleport. That's only if you have teleport. Ooh, that's not a pallet stun again. That is a pallet stun again. Thought that would be a hit over the window. Um, that's gonna be alright. Uh, alright. Uh, this is pure bullying. How many pallet stuns is that? That's like four pallet stuns. That's no, that's five pallet stuns, I'm quite sure. Four with books, and then one just for Ooh, okay, that's still a hit down now. One by novelist itself. Um, so that's gonna be a down. This seems, and uh, let's graduate the tie game here for Anne, moving on straight towards second half. Okay, let's see here. We're going to be able to see Axis' Opera Singer coming out here as well. It's going to be Perfumer followed by Gardener and Bomber and um, First Officer. It's more or less of a tie game, but wait, Embalmer here? Would Embalmer bring Windows Speed Boost is another question as well. Preferably speaking, probably will be for the best, but Axis' is not this last game did very well. It was around five, five pallet stones we see. Five pallet stones. Ah, <sighs> okay, let's move on towards the game then. Yoda will become the first chase here as Gardner. Gardner with Tide Turner, of course, with a uh, Windows Speed Boost there as well. But it seems like we're changing targets here for Dan instead. Tram Senpai coming in towards to help it out a little bit for uh, uh, Officer to rotate away a little bit. But it seems like we are going to be able to be... Be able to play a little bit of mind games here, so that's going to be the first pocket watch utilized by First Officer. Money need next chase here for Perfumer, next chase. Overall, it should be fine for Perfumer was what I would like to say, but even with that in mind, uh, that is going to be a Perfume stuck out, but I feel like we might have dropped down that palette a little bit too early, just a little bit too early on that side. No, Perfumer running into open area two seconds until our next Perfume is ready. Perfumer is currently ready right now, and we might be able to... Oh, uh, didn't get the Perfume out there, though. A little bit unfortunate, a little bit unfortunate, but 60 seconds into this game, Trump might be near by as well we are going to be using the dash just to counter the tram quite uh it's, it's more or less of beneficial it's it's not beneficial for our opera singer here at all but for a perfumer side note since she is a half health there's really not much a perfumer can do here anymore we are going to be able to get the blinking here and cypher machine wise it's around the same downtime compared to last game except for the fact that we might have just a little bit more decoding uh compared to access survivor from last game but of course, there's going to be... Perfumer's items are kind of trashy now on that side note too. Because not only did she miss her second perfume bottle from coming out, it's also with the fact that uh, First Officer has no items here remaining. Uh, so it kind of just means that First Officer actually have the rescue here without getting double down as 
safely as possible. We are going to be able to see two and a half cipher machines down here. That's going to be a normal hit, normal rescue. And of course, bo uh, last pocket watch activation. Perfumer near this corner might not be the best idea. I won't lie because I don't think there's a chance of Perfumer rebound kiting anymore. So Perfumer just needs to go. I'd say I'd say trying to play around with that pallet is not the best choice of action. Simply because of the fact that you know it's it's a perfumer talking about the end of the day who is on chair and even if she does have a perfume there's not much time she can buy even with that one perfume there so playing around with that palette kind of just uh it doesn't allow first officer to decode safely that's the only issue just doesn't allow first officer here to decode safely first officer a uh, cypher machine at 80 percent but it seems like first officer might have to leave straight towards corner house preferably speaking here she needs to look for an item first it's okay for him not to be a full health but he needs an item he definitely needs an item right here uh we are gonna be able to see embalmer coming in to rescue embalmer uh could be a double down potential here which is the worst case scenario is what i would like to say and perfumer is going to be able to pull a little bit more of a distance away here but even with dash on mind double pallet here being dropped down perfumer not having any palace speed boost there to rely on which is a little bit of an unfortunate side no we are going to be able to well we are going to be able to vault over that but opera singer this is pre this is before opera's nerf right so Opera is still pretty fast compared to before. Mm, we do see that the Embalmer is still on the ground. We do see where Embalmer is. And of course, with one full Cypher machine remaining right here as well. Gardner is currently going around looking for the rescue. But preferably speaking here, we need to get Embalmer down as... Uh, well, Embalmer should self-rescue. That's what should happen here. But from Anne survivor side right now, it's really that double down that killed off the game really that double down okay we see the coffin is up in two story um not the best coffin placement i won't lie to you because there's no need for like there's no point in putting a coffin up in two story even if you're up against an opera singer we are going to be able to get a jump down here thankfully but with this jump down on mind and bomber still goes down and we're missing a full cypher machine here. You need Gardner to get that cypher machine done and you have a first officer with a double down potential here with no items remaining from Opera Singer's side. So the game isn't, it's not the best for now. It's really not the best for now. It seems like more than a tie game here for the Opera Singer. We talked about it too. We talked about it too uh, during that Embalmer rescue. Preferably speaking there, it should be Gardner that goes into rescue and not Embalmer because Gardner can at least tank an extra hit with her bubble. Not Embalmer though, Embalmer would go down there immediately. Embalmer would go down there immediately on mind. Hmm, let's see here. Seems like Yoda's gonna be the one coming to rescue. Gardner is still having a bit of tight turner there remaining, but this is not gonna be enough. This is really not gonna be enough. You don't have Cypher Machines. You gotta head on towards Embalmer right there. Can we aim for a one-man escape? Most likely not, most likely not, because right after this tight turner time, that 79% Cypher Machine, I don't remember where it was, but probably one teleportation and there goes down that cypher machine honestly because like you have a gardener you have a first officer of course they're decoding the cypher machines there but you can get the gardener down immediately well maybe we can get an end game here wait a second did i okay the cypher machine was closer than i thought it would be um they could pop here they could pop here Gardner has to contain for long though. The only issue here is Gardner has to contain for long for first officer to get out. Can Gardner contain for long? There should be double pallets. There should be double pallets near the exit gate. Should be is the keyword here. Uh, if there isn't, it'll be pretty funny. Okay, no, there is. We have two pilots here to play around as well. So Opera Singer will have to destroy those two first. That's going to be the teleportation over there immediately. And first officer goes down. Um... Opera Singer can TP back. No, we're not TPing back in just yet. We're going to share first. Do we still have Shadows who forms over there, I wonder? Do we? Do we? We don't. Okay, we don't. Uh, we're going to be looking for Gardner here once again. Trying to get Gardner's Tinnitus. But it seems like Tinnitus did manage to pop here immediately. Meanwhile, realizing that there is no Tinnitus there remaining. Gardner, Yoda, there standing by the corner trying to give Tinnitus. But even with that corner on mind. Mm, we, need to, we need to play around here for 60 seconds. For a might be, uh, there might be 20 more seconds remaining on the clock for detention to be over by the time we actually get on team. But it seems like for Kakaka right now, we are going around the map quite a lot trying to look for Gardener. But 
Gardner's, but Gardner's crouching on a really nice area because there's no way Opera Singer. Well, Opera could go for it, go towards the corner right over there, but uh, it's a little bit of a risky situation. If Gardner can get an item gray, because Gardner is a little bit too far away from the area and Gardner's kind of just waiting right now for for Softstar to get eliminated, we're going to be able to get a TP back here once again. Gardner is still crouching down. The dungeon is near Graveyard. And with that in mind, I'd say Gardner will be popping crows fairly soon. Yup, Park. Yup, he. Yup. Yup, she just started popping crows. And detention, 10 seconds. Can we get a hit on detention in 10 seconds? We most likely could. We. We got saved by Tram. Ah, oh, we got saved by Tram. Tram is gonna be able to bring Gardner straight towards uh, Geisha. And then with just one normal hit from Opera Singer, that's gonna be a veteran speed boost here for, for um, Gardner to take. Straight towards the dungeon there. At least it wasn't a formal elimination. That's the good news. At least it wasn't a formal elimination. Oh, wait, we're gonna get hit by Tram. Oh, we didn't. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's congratulate the one-man escape here from Ant Survivor side. Moving on straight towards second game.